Welcome back to New Mexico Wildlife. I'm Bob Girding. The cutthroat trout was bordering on being wiped out of existence until the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish made a concentrated effort to raise a pure line of them in one of their hatcheries. After all, it is the state fish. Now, after years of stocking browns in the Rio Grande Gorge every winter, they're stocking homegrown natives. Rio Grande cutthroat trout. That's what's wriggling in these nets. These fish were once native to the Rio Grande. Not anymore. No one has caught a cutthroat trout in these waters since Eisenhower was president. That's because non-native brown brookies and rainbow trout were introduced and drove the pure Rio Grande cutthroat trout to near extinction. It's really neat stocking the native trout into the water for the first time this year. You know, we're putting the Rio Grande cutthroat in the Rio Grande and it's, it almost brings a tear to your eye. It's really neat, neat opportunity. This hardy group of about 50 volunteers is trying to reverse history by restocking the river here here in Taos with cutthroat trout. Well, I'm here to come put some fish in the river, I guess. Gabe Lefthand is here with other students from Vista Grande High School, which provides its students with hands-on wilderness experience. What I'm hoping is they gain more appreciation for the environment, the importance of their role as environmental stewards in the future, and have a good time and help out. One thing that's kind of neat that Vista Grande does is they connect kids with mentors. Every student has to intern with somebody in the community. So I actually have two of their students, uh, Rowan Bateman and Gabe Lefthand, who are interning with Rivers and Birds. I've been working with Rivers and Birds since I was eight, and Roberta told me about this um, releasing native fish back into the river and I thought that would be really cool to come here and help. It's really exciting that um, instead of bringing in these other species that we could restock the ones that belong here. And I'm a little concerned because evidently the cutthroat are often outcompeted by the other species, so I'm hoping that stocking them is based on some good record of other fish doing well down here in other parts of the river. There are more than 2,000 cutthroat trout that need to be packed up in these plastic containers and plastic bags for release into the river. Now you thought packing this wriggling mass of trout into these containers looked tough. That's nothing compared to the trek this army of volunteers is about to embark on to get the Rio Grande cutthroat trout back into their native waters. The access is really tough. You have to, it's kind of a gorge, almost like a mini Grand Canyon area. So in order to get the fish down here, we can't drive them down here. So we actually use the volunteers as slave labor and pack the fish in on their backs and, and pack them to release them into the water. After a grueling mile and a half long trek down into the gorge, the young trout must get used to the water temperature before being released into the wild. Volunteers include folks from government agencies, the Forest Service, high school students, Trout Unlimited. We also get a variety of just local anglers that, that love the river and, and come to help us stock the fish in. Like Chris Inouye, an avid fly fisherman who loved the idea of reverse fishing. See, this isn't just catch and release, it's release and hopefully catch someday. I enjoy the fishery so much, I figure like I, I have to contribute something back. Uh, I don't take many fish out of here, but I always wanted to see them in, in here for future fishermen. Just one more way sportsmen and women like Chris pay to play. Sportsman dollars fund this program uh, through license sales and through through excise tax on you know fishing rods and fishing poles through the Sport Fish Restoration Act, um, which is federal dollar or federal aid dollars. Um, so this is all sportsmen have funded all of this program and be able to stock the fish wouldn't be done without sportsmen's dollars. And if this investment in the future of the native trout pays off, the reward will be tangible, beautiful 18 to 24 inch cutthroat trout on the other end of the line. If you're interested in fishing this area, you can do an online search for the Wild Rivers Recreation Area. Our crew descended from La Junta Point, which is a steep mile and a half trek down to the confluence of the Red River and the Rio Grande. And we'd like to thank the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish for their dedication to conservation and education of New Mexico's most precious natural resources, New Mexico wildlife.